Upon first glance, I may seem like an unsophisticated brute of a man, but did you know that I have a Victorian-era antique vanity in my bathroom? Probably didn't. The point being is that a little bit of fanciness never hurt nobody, so we're gonna equate some of that fanciness into your acoustic guitar strumming, or electric guitar, whatever. I am rocking out this uh, brand new Orangewood Sage right now for the purposes of the lesson. Cool guitar, all solid wood. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start introducing triplet strumming that is gonna switch up the directionality of the pick right here, okay? So essentially what we're gonna learn is this. Okay, so it's really kind of simple, but I think it's something that is a good gateway into some of the fancier strumming. So the main chord we're going to use is going to be a C major chord, but no, not this regular C major chord, a C slash G chord. If you uh, just use a regular C major chord where your ring finger is in the third fret of the A string, it's kind of bass level non-fanciness. Uh, the girls are gonna see right through this. Now, if you just move your ring finger up to the third fret of the low E string, and then put your pinky there, to get that C slash G, that at least lets them know that you might be into essential oils or something like that. Plus, it just kind of has a, a fuller sound, specifically on an acoustic guitar, that's gonna mesh well with other chords in that key, right? So, here's our chord, right? Now, the initial strumming that usually everybody goes through is a strumming four count, all downstrokes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nothing fancy about that. The meat and potatoes of guitar playing. Maybe after that you want to go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and add the and strokes to any of them and be able to vary them up, right? So uh, the principles of good guitar strumming, I think, and I've done other videos on this, is if you're doing a four count, any kind of count, the downbeat is gonna be downstroke, and the and count in between is gonna be upstroke. So one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So really you wanna kinda of master that first, where you always know where the count is and be able to feel the downstrokes and then kinda of add that upstroke to taste, I suppose. One of the harder things about doing more advanced strumming, like triplets, where we take a beat and turn it into three different strokes, is it'll change the directionality of the picking. So what I mean by that is if we're going just a triplet on the four count, one, two, three, four triplet, then the one is going to be an upstroke. Okay, so this is something that takes a little bit of practice, but I think is actually worth it. So again, I'm going to do it a little bit slower, but the whole thing that we're going to work on today is going to sound like this. like a more real life example would be like and again that's the exact same thing just sped up okay so now again four count one two three down up down one Okay, so on the one count of the second bar, we're actually gonna be getting an upstroke and then switching back to the downstroke of the two count in the next bar. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. One, two, three, four, triplet, one, two, three, four. Which you really have to do it slow at first, but once you get that down, it's gonna be a lot easier not having to think of the direction that you're doing it. Now again, you could do it with downstrokes like one, two, three, four triplet, one. That is just as acceptable. I just think that when it gets to faster tempo stuff, it's harder to kind of do that without stuttering your stroke. So what I mean by that, when I, when I played that last triplet, usually we're going triplet, down, up, down. You could go down, up, down, down for the next thing, right? Triplet, one, two, three, Four triplet, one, two, three, four triplet. Do you kind of hear how that's a, a little bit of a stuttered sound, which can still be on time and still sound good? So it's not like that's like a bad habit or anything to do, but it has a different kind of sound than a. Instead of a. 
<laughs> having those downstrokes uh, after each other in a triplet way just kind of has like a certain sound, which again, like I said, is something you might be going for, but I think it's a little bit smoother if you're going triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three, right there. And this is what I want you to practice right now is to isolate just the triplet count and then maybe like uh, the regular count after that. So uh, triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three. So again, what I'm doing now is I'm putting that triplet in the front. Eventually we're gonna have it at the end, but I think it's cool to have it at the front because it kind of focuses the practice of it just a little bit more. Triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three. And again, whatever speed you can do it at, I think that's, that right there is a comfortable speed. I think that if you have a little bit of guitar strumming under your belt, you can probably handle pretty quickly. Triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three, triplet one, two, three, speed up if you want. So again, the nice thing is you can really kind of get that super fast and I can just mute it like. Because I think the sound of triplets is something that you're gonna eventually wanna incorporate in your strumming anyway, but it can be a hard thing to count if you've never done it, especially if you're kind of doing it in a count where there aren't a lot of other triplets in it like that one two three four triplet 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 see right there the one stroke the downbeat on the next bar is going to be an upstroke to be able to kind of go back into it to really get the timing down where your down strokes are down beats is just something you have to practice a little bit and i think putting that triplet on the front is the best way to practice triplet one two three triplet one two three Three, triple it one, two, three, triple it one. Whenever I say one, that's gonna be the wrong direction on that downbeat. Triple it one, two, three, triple it one, two, three, triple it one, two, three, triple it one, two, three. Okay, so something to practice. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a hammer on on the one count for the next bar after the triplet. Okay? So what I mean by that is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, triple and hammer, two, three, triple and hammer, two, three. So on that one count, there's now an upstroke. I'm gonna add a hammer on, middle finger here, the C slash G hammer special, where you're just getting the upstroke, but you're using your middle finger to be off on the up and then come down on the end of one. One and two, three, triple it. One and two, three, triple it. One and two, three, triple it. One and two, three. Okay, so now your fretting hand is doing a little bit of the rhythmic work to kind of get it in there, right? Now, the next thing we can do is add uh, change chords. So instead of going from C slash G, go to this F major, where it's just the middle four strings, 3A, 3D, 2G, 1B. So same thing, but now when you do the hammer on, we could actually do your pointer finger and your middle finger to kind of get this great F major hammer on, classic. In fact, uh, I think it's that Coldplay song, Don't Panic. Great hammer on that you should always put over any F major chord. So we can do the same thing. One, two, three, triple that hammer, two, three, triple that one, two, three, triple that hammer, two, three, back to C. just kind of like an intro to fancy fancy strumming again triplets are such a great thing to just kind of have in your toolbox as far as strumming even if uh like lead playing it's the exact same thing and you can even kind of get an idea of that with maybe like the lower I a good way to practice that is maybe just kind of chugging on like the lower strings it's the exact same thing that applies but now we're just doing one string instead down, 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 triple it down, up, down, triple it up, down, down, triple it up, down, down, triple it up, down, down. The exact same concept. 
So this kind of directional change is almost something that you want to learn one way, but again, down beats are down, off beats are up, and then kind of expand from there to be able to hit an off beat or an up stroke on an off beat, which again, it's kind of tricky at first for a lot of people, but not for you anymore because you're super fancy. So definitely, I hope you learned something uh, from this lesson. Just want to shout out Orange Wood Guitars for sending me this guitar. Also, uh, I just finished recently a master class with my guy Justin about just kind of exploring the fretboard and kind of seeing it in different ways that uh, we're still kind of selling at a discount through the coupon code in the description here. So it would mean a lot if you want to check that out. And again, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.